Hey, hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. So I just launched. I am at my favorite, favorite area to fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to see if we can get a Texas slam today, which is redfish found in a trout. We're gonna be using a wide variety of different lures, topwaters, crankbait, twitch baits, bugs, paddle tail, whatever we can do to try to get that slam. So guys, stay tuned and hopefully we can have a good day today. All right, folks, here we go, man. We're gonna try some new lures. All right. We got a little bit overcast. I think we're gonna do some top water today. I know I don't do much top water at all. A lot of you guys have asked me, and here's my first lure right here. It's the Whopper Plopper. We're gonna see if we can see if we can get a fish to hit. Maybe a trout. I don't see as much bait movement as I like to see. The water's very low. We're at low tide too, so. Yeah, there's there's bait fish working all up in this channel. They're not hitting a top water though. Woo, that wind boy. We got high winds guys. 18 to 25 mile per hour south winds. It's gonna make fishing a little bit difficult trying to maintain your position. And a few uh, birds nests while on the way. <laughs> Man, the water is so dirty. I don't remember this water being this dirty here. You can't see anything. <laughs> Lots of bait. What is this? Dark shadow. Of grass. I thought that was a fish. Okay, it's calm enough where I can actually see a little bit here. Kind of cast here too. Very calm. I don't know if there's gonna be redfish, but it's worth a try. Lots of bait. Yeah, I'm getting thumped by that bait. Some disturbance up here. I don't know what could it be, but bait fish are just kind of running into each other. Maybe it's a redfish trying to push them out of the way. There appears to be something going on here. A convention, a mullet, and bait fish running into each other. It's a contest to see who can bump each other the most. Oh my god, that was a red right there. That was a red. 100% that was a red. Yeah, that's a red fish right there. Bad. I mean, I'm just going off of, of sight and noise, sight and sound. So far, it has not produced, folks. <laughs> oh, that was a redfish right there. Way right there. Let's see if he gets my lure. Nice wake there, brother. There we go, we got him. <laughs> yeah, that's a redfish. <laughs> Saw his wake hard. This is gonna be a slot. There he goes, buddy. There he goes. Sight casting him with the bugs. Flat to bug. And got him on the ultralight. This is gonna be a slot for sure. Oh gosh, love it, love it. Oh dude, he's a donkey. It's gonna be a proper donkey. <laughs> got him, baby, got him. Got him, it feels so good. It feels so good. Dang, that's a big redfish. Big, big redfish. It's so fun to sight cast these brutes. That's for sure. Oh my gosh, come on, buddy. Don't give me no trouble, okay? 
I'm going to let you go. I'm not going to keep you, I promise. <laughs> they are super shallow, folks. I'm talking about less than six inches. I want him to snap my line. Come on, beautiful fish. Come on in here, big boy. Got him. Got him. Look at that redfish. Woo! 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 -hoo. Let's take a good look at you. You're a beautiful creature, aren't you, man? Oh, yes, beautiful fish. Real quick, while we're on you, you're five and a half pounds. So I imagine you're probably about 22, possibly. Maybe 23 if I'm lucky. But that right there is a beautiful fish, folks. Look at that blue tail. I saw him cruising that shoreline right over there. And he smoked this flats bug. <laughs> there you go, look at that. On the flats bug, beautiful. Black and gold, one eighth ounce. All right, bud, let's get you back in the water and get you on your way. Gosh, you're a magnificent creature, aren't you? <laughs> this water's dirty, but you know what? It doesn't matter. We got him. We got him. We got him. There he goes beautiful fish and that right there folks is how you side cast a nice big red you just gotta look hold on let me let me clean this <laughs> when the water is so murky like that you just gotta look for sight and sound and i saw him coming right at me threw at him a couple of times and he finally smoked that that bugs man really happy so we got one fish let's see if we can get two more all right i just saw a I just saw a big redfish in this little bitty back part. I'm not sure exactly where he went. But it's very skinny. Hopefully we didn't miss him. I don't think we did. I think I think he went in that little back creek right there. Super, super shallow. We're going to wait for him to come out. There was a massive red that went into this little creek back here. That's why I was sitting here for a while thinking he's coming back out but I never saw him come back out I saw this red clear as day too his back and everything red everything so he might still be back there just laying down there's no reason for him to leave there's plenty of bait back there All right, ladies and gents, I'm gonna call it quits. Four hours of fishing. I threw the, the kitchen sink, used, I would say six or seven different lures, uh, no luck. The water was so murky, there was so much bait. So when you spooked one mullet, you spooked like literally a thousand mullets because it was like a domino effect. And it ended up spooking up the redfish and sheep's head. And then the times that I did, were able to put my eyes on some redfish, my boat got too close and it just spooked them because the water was so murky. I wasn't. There was no visibility, maybe if I'm lucky, an inch of visibility. So it was, it was, it was, it was a tough day of fishing. We grinded it out. I still had a lot of fun, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll get it next time. So no worries. Springtime fishing is, it's tough. I've said this many times. I know a lot of guys are uh, not really catching much fish because a lot of kayakers out here didn't catch any fish. I asked them, and they were using live bait too, live shrimp. So. Uh, just put that in perspective but anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one